All right, we have a Yugo M48. This is pretty much your run-of-the-mill Yugo M48. Nothing too special. Missing the uh, cleaning rod. It's kind of a mismatched hand guard, but I've heard that's pretty common on these. I don't know if they made it out of some other different type of wood. But uh, I love these things. They're rugged. They're well built. Most of them are in, you know, close to unissued condition. This one's a little more beat up, but uh, didn't stop me from picking it up. So we will uh, fire 10 rounds, five at a time. This is old Turkish 1941 vintage ammo. Uh, we got a couple of pumpkins down there, but I'm going to try to see where this is hitting because I have not shot this rifle yet, so I'm not quite sure how accurate it's going to be. Front sight post looks like it might be a little off, but uh, we'll find out. Have a weak spring. I should have brought the other one. I could have checked these to see if they'd actually fire. Spring's kind of weak. Probably why. Should have cleaned this thing before I took it out. It's a crap load of cosmoline in there. I'm gonna bet that that's slowing that firing pin down because it doesn't look like it really puts much of a dimple on the uh, the rounds. I mean, they're it's all right, I guess. It's not horrible, but it's not the greatest either. So, probably just not uh, not hitting it hard enough. All right, have to clean it up. These were the rounds that I tried last time. So the primers are a little dimpled. So we'll see if uh, if they will fire this time through. Just took the bolt apart and uh, got most of the cosmoline out of there. So hopefully there was quite a bit. So hopefully that was uh, the issue. Otherwise, it's going to be probably a weak firing pin spring. So. We'll see what she's got. Much better.
pretty damn good. Alright. Not too bad. This day, uh, an issue with all the cosmoline built up underneath everything and built kind of wedged in the spring caused it to slow the firing pin down so clean that out fire is good sweet you can see all the fresh hits where I was hitting it seemed like it was a pretty decent group towards the top a couple over here one here one here one here the rest of these are all shots from previous earlier in the day um, Oh, it's not too bad. Almost every single one of them hit. So the bat side. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> Gonna shoot some more rounds with the M48. Once again, this is 1941 vintage Turkish 8mm. And it seems to shoot fine now that we got the uh, Cosmoline out of the bolt. It seems like that's the only problem we had here. So we'll see how many more rounds we can shoot through it. Let's we'll see if we can finish off that pumpkin.
Barrel's getting hot. You want to zoom in on the target again? The one to the left. Very nice shooting rifle, very pleasurable to shoot. Doesn't have a ton of recoil. Barrel definitely heats up a bit when you put uh, more than like 10 rounds through it. You can see the Cosmoly starting to ooze out of the wood here. Definitely heating up, but uh, fun rifle. And for the price, you really can't beat it. I mean, they average probably around $300. Uh, the Mitchell Mausers ones are about the same, about 400 maybe at the most. Hell of a rifle for the price. Pretty much indestructible. You know, if you get one that has a bad firing pin problem, it doesn't shoot the rounds. Some of this military stuff is a little harder to shoot, so you need a pretty strong spring. So you definitely need to take the bolt apart, make sure that there's not a ton of cosmoline in there clogging up that uh, firing pin port at the end of the bolt. That little port there. It's all filled with cosmoline and that slowed the firing pin down because it's a little tunnel that that pin it goes through and that pin's almost the same size as that tunnel so any type of oil in there will cause it to slow it down just enough to where it doesn't hit that firing pin fast enough um, and then you got problems so definitely need to take it apart it's one of the things you got to learn about Mausers anyways how to take the bolt apart properly it is a it is a task um, try not to let it uh, decock, decock itself when you actually do take it apart because it is a bear to try to get cocked again so otherwise sweet rifle like I said this one's kind of a beat up one compared to the other two that I have but uh, still well worth the money in my opinion if you uh, find one of these for 200, 200 to 300 dollars the ammo is a little expensive now but uh, usually this old surplus stuff is still pretty cheap Got uh, the Turkish stuff, and then I think this is a. Not sure what what country this stuff was from. Has the kind of silver-looking uh, stripper clips, but probably about seven or eight dollars a box for this stuff. Not bad. Let's go look at the target. You can see. Tore it up pretty well. Which all the rounds were hitting in almost the same area. Wow. It's a big hole. <laughs> Not much left of that. There you go.